Hey guys, this is Typical Psych Repair. Today we're going to talk about, and I'm going to show you how to make a throttle position sensor tester. All right, so making this uh, throttle position sensor tester, you're going to need uh, one of these. This is a 5 volt output. All right, and I got the diagram drawn right there to show you guys what's going on, but it's three prong. We're going to have nine volts going in the top. The middle is the ground, and the five volts out is the bottom one. So what we're going to do here, here's the line that I'm going to solder to it. That's going to be my five volts out. So this is going to go to the throttle position sensor um, five volts in all right and then we have the positive coming off of the nine volt battery plug and then that one is going to go to the nine volt in here and then we have the two grounds we have the ground that's going to go to the throttle position sensor all right and then the ground that's coming off the nine volt battery so the two nine volts are going to get soldered to the center the nine volt in is going to be the positive coming off the battery the 5 volts out are going to come here. All right. So now we're going to have a 5 volt coming out so I can plug into the sensor here. We're going to have a ground to plug into the sensor. And then we're going to have an additional wire that we're going to plug in. And I'm going to take the reading coming out of the throttle position sensor. That will give me the reading that I need. So let me get this soldered up. I've got heat shrink tube on here that I'm going to slide on so nothing touches on the, uh, the um, reducer right here. And then... Uh, We'll get back to you. Let me get this all soldered up. All right, here you can see them all soldered up. All right, the yellow, the two grounds. All right, our positive coming from there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and slide the sleeves on, and we're we'll, uh, clean this all up. All right, here it is, all soldered up. Shrink wrap them on. Little shrink tubing right there. Now I'm just going to bend this back this way so I got the battery going this way. I'm going to slide this shrink uh, wrap over this whole thing right here and just heat that up to shrink that. So I got wires coming out one way and then I have the uh, you know the power one coming the other way. And I'll eventually get just a bigger piece of wrap and wrap this whole thing so it just looks cleaner. But let me get that. All right. So the last thing that I did is just took these and I put colored uh, shrink wrap on them so I knew which one's the positive and negative. This is going to be the feed that we're going to be testing off of. Uh, positive is going to be red, negative is uh, just bare, it's got nothing on it. All right, so first off, we got to get the bike ready. With these Hondas, the throttle position sensor and the throttle body is buried behind the frame and you can't get to it with it on the bike. So what I have to do here is just take off the rear section, swing up the, um, the rear subframe, get it up out of the way. I have to take the um, throttle body off of the intake manifold and just slide it back. So now I got the throttle body loosened up here. I got the shock out of the way just to give me a little bit more room. I unplug the sensor right here and uh, make sure that you unplug the sensor from the airbox when you're pulling it back all right and um, get it ready like this and that's how you got to get the bike ready this is what I have to do because if you have to adjust it you got to take it off anyway and if you don't have it set up like this and your adjustment is off you're gonna have to get to this point to get it anyway so um, if you're able to get your um, plug off you might be able to plug it and test it while it's on the bike before you get it out this far but I uh, this is what you're gonna have to do if you need to adjust it at all all right, so here we have it all set up. I got the um, wires plugged in there. I got the uh, port for the battery right here. We're going to plug the battery in. All right. All right, so there's the battery. This is the wire we're going to get our reading out of, and I'm just, the ground's going to be right there. So um, the meter is set up. I'm going to touch the ground there, and then I'm going to touch the uh, output wire right here. All right, you can see our reading right there is 0.497, so that's that's good. We're looking for uh, 0.45 to 0.51, the best being uh, 0.50 is uh, what my research is showing me. So 0.497, I, I just adjusted it to that, so I was at 0.47. So basically, if you want to adjust it, up here you got the uh, two torques. All right, I got the throttle body loosened here so I can get it up so I can get to the two torques right here. The torques are a, uh, a T25. You just loosen these and slightly turn it and then keep checking your meters. All right? uh, if you got a clip, you can just clip it on here, clip it on there. You can just watch your meter as you adjust it. And uh, just get it to as close as you can. When you tighten it up, it changes a little bit. But uh, I'm going to leave it right there, 0 0.496, 497, and we should be good to go. All right, guys, so uh, that's how you make a throttle position sensor tester. Um, Pretty simple, it only cost me a few bucks, all right? These are one of those things that you really want to make sure you have set properly. 
All right, you shouldn't have to touch it from the factory, but if somebody took it apart, and this one looked like it was adjusted, and this is the bike I just got, so I wanted to make sure that it was set right. Um, so, guys, until next time, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. This is Teplo Soccer Repair.